hello everyone i am akhil kitay welcomes you are another video in this video we are going to uh, register email in the firebase so how we are going to do the email registration in firebase that's what i am going to show you in this video okay so i have created a project named as firebase login and here if you go uh, this is my main activity activity main okay so i'll go to the activity main i'll create ui for email registration so text to view there will be one i uh, sorry uh, there will be one entry text and uh, i mean two entry text one for email and other for password okay so web content i uh, give the id as edit email okay sorry forget to mention at the rate ID. ID okay and then I'll give the placeholder this three hint as enter email ID enter email ID okay and the second edit password So here uh, I'll give the hint as enter password and then input type should be type should be email text email address and here input type should be password text password okay and then I'll give the button as button register and then here i'll give the text to the button register okay so we are done i'll just give some padding padding as 20 okay so this is how our ui will look like email id enter password and then register okay it's a few simple steps just to explain you how to do the registration yeah. okay so i'll go to the main activity edit text edit email edit text edit password button button register gistr okay so I'll give the references find all dot i dot email edit password equals to id dot email edit password okay and the last reference that is register button okay so we are done with the uh, UI thing now I'll set on click listener to the button okay that's it so after this setup you have to do firebase registration so you have to visit firebase website and you know how to like in my other videos I have shown how to do the firebase um, project registration so here I have registered project named as firebase login and then uh, you have to go to the authentication section and here there is setup signing method and here you go to the email and password and enable it okay so and then save it okay and one more thing you have to do is like go to the project overview okay and do the Android setup and here you need to add Android package name and you need to download the JSON file so I'll just copy this reference I mean package name com dot example dot firebase login no need to these are optional things I will register on my file and then I'll download this Google JSON okay and then I need to copy this JSON to my app folder so I'll just go to the 
project files okay and then here inside the app folder i need to uh, copy paste this file so i have added this okay so here it is our json goal json now and also i need to mention few of the dependencies so here it will tell you like which dependencies you need to mention and all so anyways for authentication you can search out i have already mentioned those dependencies in my gradle file make minute i'll change the uh, so app level gradle file these are the dependencies i have mentioned one is auth and one is core then i'll go to the um, my register activity that is main activity and uh, here i'll start implementing like firebase auth firebase firebase auth dot get instance okay so this instance we needed to do the email registration and then firebase auth dot create user with email id and password so it accepts two strings one is email id and the second is password well whether the existing um, just a string email edit email dot get text to string and then string password okay so what i was saying is like whether the existing email is a valid email or not this validation you can add it over here and you can do the validation also whether the password is correct or not so you can add more field such as password and confirm password so that a user gets uh, confirms that this is what the password he wants to register and after that you can pass it to this method such as email and password okay so it says that it should be a global variable okay so i'll add it as a global variable okay and uh, sorry email and password okay so this will register our email and password to our firebase console but then the problem is means with our firebase data database uh, but then we just wanted to confirm whether our exist uh, this email and password is uh, successfully registered or not so that we can give uh, like uh, toast to the user or we can say something to the user or we convey to the user so there is a method add on complete listener okay so inside this method to plot okay so this is the method inside on complete gets called once uh, as soon as this create user with email and password gets executed add on complete listener will get called so here i'll check if task whatever we have provided is successful or not if it's successful then i'll tell my user that user stood stood that is saying or app is saying that user registered successfully else failed to register okay semicolon okay so i'll just run the application and we'll check whether it's running properly or not or if there is any errors so i'm running this application on my simulator okay mm, run task it takes time a little bit so see this is how like uh, hardly few lines of code you need to register with the email and password with the firebase it's very easy okay a gradle invocation finished and our application is running and installed successfully great okay so application got crashed we'll check the log cat so this is the error which we are getting 
that firebase login so this is what i wanted to show you like uh, most of the people get this error so how to resolve is like uh, most of the people forget to add the class path and uh, apply uh, google play services plugin so you just go to uh, like wild registration make sure to add the plugin this thing here and um, add your class path in your project gradle file here okay so and make sure to add the json file so which we have already added and that's it what it says like um, something is absolute or something is okay uh, so might be there is some error with this uh, four point uh, mean, mean the latest google play services so i'll make it as the i'll just download it and for make it as 4.2.0 and uh, okay there's no issue with these google play services yeah basically uh, you might find some of the issues of uh, obsoleted and downgraded versions and the upgraded versions. so you have to be very like you have to search for the or basically what i mean to say is like you have to use the right version uh, so right now 4.2.0 is suitable for gradle 3.4.2 okay and uh, we'll just run the application and we'll see whether our application our issue got resolved or not gradle build running okay and then uh, okay so it's running i'll just use my email id with at gmail dot com and then enter password as and okay i haven't added any okay user registered successfully i haven't added any progress dialog so just so that it should look good i'll just add new progress dialog progress dialog dot set title as loading dot set message Meet press. Okay, messages. Please wait. Okay, and uh, as soon as I click, I want to start my progress dialog. And as soon as it gets complete, I want to stop it. I mean, hide it. Okay, I'll run my application again just to see whether this is working as we are expecting and i'll use droid buzz gmail.com 23456 and yeah it's loading please wait fail to register maybe uh i don't know why it failed maybe this already exists this email id and password i'll try to use different okay he says that user register though i don't have this email id but still it says that user register successfully so what we can do like there is one more part of this tutorial which i'll tell you later but as of now my user is registered successfully and i can show you that uh, where are my users okay see these many users so can you see why it failed to register code? this is already exists that's why we failed to register and when i tried with the different email id and it says that okay it's registered so uh yeah what i was saying is like see right now this email id doesn't exist so how how i can achieve to register the valid um, email id so basically there is email verification link that's what we send to the existing uh, existing email id or, or the email id which you sent to us and once you click on the uh, email verification link and then we can say that the user is authenticated that will cover in the last uh, letter part so this is f that's it for today's video thank you for joining us if you don't it's if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe and support our channel thank you guys